Clean a flat working surface with soap and water, then dry with a clean towel. Get your hands germ-free. To keep the vial and medicine as sterile as possible, use some sanitizer gel or wash and dry your hands thoroughly. Assemble the following supplies. Needle and syringe with medication vial, alcohol pads, gauze, and a puncture-resistant container to discard the used needle and syringe. Make sure the vial is the medication your doctor prescribed. Check the expiration date on the vial. Do not use a medication with an expired date. Check the wrapping containing the syringe and the needle for damage. If the wrapping has been opened or damaged, do not use the syringe or the needle. Remove the cap off the vial. Remove the cap from the plunger on the syringe. Keep the cap on the needle for now. Clean the rubber stopper with one alcohol swab. Pull back the plunger and draw air into the syringe. The amount of air drawn into the syringe should be the same amount as the dose your doctor prescribed. For example, if you have been prescribed 0.5 millilitres of your medicine, draw 0.5 millilitres of air into the syringe. Pull the cap straight off the needle Keep the vial on your flat working surface, then insert the needle straight down through the rubber stopper. Keeping the needle in the vial, turn the vial and syringe upside down so the needle points upward. Push the plunger down to insert air into the vial. Do this just one time. Do not put the needle through the rubber stopper more than once. Make sure the liquid is covering the tip of the needle and then pull back on the plunger to withdraw the correct amount of medication. Keeping the needle pointing upward, tap the syringe to push any bubbles to the top. Then slowly push the plunger up to force the air bubbles out of the syringe. Because the injection is given under the skin, the air in the syringe will not hurt you, but air bubbles that are too large can reduce your dose of medicine. Put the cap back on the needle while you prepare the injection site. Subcutaneous injections can be given in the arms, legs or lower tummy, abdomen. The medicine needs to be injected into the fatty tissue just below the skin. Clean and inspect the injection site. Before injecting medication, inspect your skin to make sure there are no bruising, burns, swelling, hardness or irritation to the area. We are using an orange to demonstrate this injection. Clean the skin where you want to inject with an alcohol swab. Let the alcohol dry thoroughly before doing the injection. Take a big pinch of skin between your thumb and index finger and hold it. Your thumb and forefinger should be about an inch and a half apart. This pulls the fatty tissue away from the muscle and makes the injection easier. Inject the needle into the pinched skin at a 90 degree angle. You should do this quickly but without great force. If you have very little fat on your body, you may need to inject the needle at a 45 degree angle to the skin. Slowly push the plunger to inject the medication. You should inject the entire amount of medication in the syringe. Let go of the pinched skin, then withdraw the needle. Put the used needle in a puncture-resistant container.